thought I would do blue today because I've never done blue before and this is worse than yellow. Hey guys, I have four Lush products to show you today. I've got Buffy Body Butter, Soak and Float Shampoo Bar, Godiva Shampoo Bar, and Retread Conditioner. Let's get right into it. First up is Buffy Body Butter. Massage Lush's Buffy Body Butter all over your wet skin in the bath or shower to make you softer and smooth to the touch, paying special attention to your backside. Lush adds ground rice, almonds, and beans to Buffy to act as exfoliants. The rough textures eliminate lumps and bumps and sloughs away dry skin to reveal brighter, fresher looking skin. Rinse off the exfoliating bits and pat yourself dry. There's no need for body lotion after a Buffy slaying session because the cocoa and shea butters keep your skin beautifully smooth, moisturized, and soft to the touch. Well, it's a unique cleansing tool, that's for sure. It looks like bird suet and kind of smells like it too, but the thing is pretty cool. So I've got a couple keratosis pillars on the backs of my arms every once in a while. I read that this bar is perfect for that annoying issue. This demo was from the first time I ever used it. Looks like it's just just gliding across my skin with minimal chunks falling from it. Well, once you actually use it, the thing disintegrates fairly quickly. Do not get it wet. It's like a gremlin. Get your problem areas wet, scrub it all over for a second, then set the bar far, far away from water, and then go back to scrubbing out the almond chunks all over you. Here's what it looks like when you've actually broken the thing in. This is Soak and Float Shampoo Bar. Sad, irritated scalps rejoice. Soak and Float is here to soothe your troubles. Lush packs Kate oil into this one because it's famous for treating dry or angry scalps and leave them feeling calm and relaxed. Rose and marigold petals help soothe redness, while the gentleness of rose oil works its magic to keep your heady woes at bay. Now there's even more to love as Lush reformulated this one's smoky smelling bar to give it a warm, sweet scent. I really enjoy the scent. It reminds me of baby powder, sort of. My scalp has been pretty itchy lately, probably because I overwash it and make it really dry. I've basically stripped all of the moisture and natural oils from my hair. It's pretty bad. This bar actually did work for me pretty well. No more itchiness and it gave my hair some shine. It still feels fairly dry though. This bar isn't packed full of moisturizing or I guess you'd say greasy components. So yes, it helps with skin irritation but it doesn't help on revitalizing hair. I'll use this once a week to keep down on flakiness. The other shampoo bar I have is Godiva. Lush's vegan two-in-one shampoo bar cleans and conditions your hair with moisturizing nut oils and shea butter. These butters and oils care for dry, processed locks and leave you with glossy, shiny, and softened tresses. Long used as a tonic for the hair and scalp, Jasmine also perfumes your locks with an ultra-sexy fragrance with serious staying power. Named after a certain naked protester, Godiva gets to work sending a message to your hair. So I had to Google this whole naked protester thing. Lady Godiva was an English noblewoman who, according to a legend dating at least to the 13th century, rode naked, covered only in her long hair, through the streets to gain a remission of the oppressive taxation that her husband imposed on his tenants. The name Peeping Tom, for a voyeur, originates from later versions of this legend in which a man named Tom watched her ride and was struck blind or dead. So, moving on. This bar smelled absolutely wretched to me, still does. Not jasmine at all. I hate it. I hate the scent. I can't pinpoint it, but I do not like it. However, after I got out of the shower and dried my hair, the scent left over was not too bad. As for the bar itself, there are conditioner chunks in it, so that's the two-in-one. The problem with this bar is that the shampoo and the conditioner chunks don't get along very well and the whole bar ends up falling apart, even quicker than the other shampoo bars. I read that if you wrap cheesecloth all over it, that'll keep it intact, but really, if I need to wrap my shampoo bar, I'm already over it. It's too high maintenance. The last product I want to talk about today is Retread Conditioner. Retread is Lush's super smoothing conditioning cream that gives sad hair to shine and bounce back. Use it when your hair is feeling absolutely rough. This rich conditioner makes your hair look better, but more importantly, it moisturizes and feeds your hair the nutrients that it needs. Lush uses a blend of softening and hydrating ingredients, including seaweed, lanolin, fresh cantaloupe, and protein-rich yogurt, and soya milk to strengthen locks. Then they blend in olive, yojoba, and avocado oils to give a truly deep condition. Together, all these ingredients add up to a nutritious, heavyweight conditioner. Put a plentiful helping on your hair and let it go to work. You guys should know by now how I feel about Lush's conditioners. They never work for me. 
not a single one. So I tried this as a request. I used the entire sample. And it does say to use a plentiful helping, so I did listen. It actually did feel like conditioner this time. I'm surprised. I could feel my hair was silky in the shower, and that's what I want out of a conditioner. I let it sit for five minutes and then washed. It did a hell of a lot better than any of their other conditioners. But to have to use that much, I won't be buying it. I'm sticking to my regular conditioners and masks. They are the only products that are not from Lush that I use in my hair. So I do have an online order from Lush coming in, and I will be reviewing more items from Lush very soon. I have a long list still, don't worry. On a quick side note, they do have all of those new hair conditioner bars, but please don't ask me to use them because I really don't like Lush's conditioners and the bars are just horrible. They're not good. For me, anyways. If you really, 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 really want to, you can ask me very nicely and I might possibly do it but I will most likely just give you the recommendation through comments. I probably will not demo the conditioner bars. But for the next video, I'm gonna do something a little different. I've had a couple requests, so I think I'm going to surprise you guys with the next video. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you next week.